When we first got together, we kind of laid out, you know, what, what do you want out of your life? And this is what I want out of my life. And children were on both of our lists. The first agency that we ever went to to speak with them about being foster parents or adopting, um, point blank, just shut us down. Right after that, we reached out to another agency and we got an email stating that they would never allow two men to be parents. We moved from Texas to Tennessee and we reached out to one more agency. Everything that they looked for in foster parents were there, except for we weren't the right gender. We just gave up. My name is Tanya Baker. I was born in Waynesboro, Tennessee, a little country town. I was raised pretty strict religiously. I was raised Church of Christ. With my background and my religion, we were just taught that being gay is wrong. Chris came into my life at work. He started talking to me about the process of going through the foster agencies and some of the struggles that he had just because he was gay. And that just kind of, that, that hurts me because there's so many kids that need a loving home. I know as of this week, there are roughly 9,000, just under 9,000 children in state custody in Tennessee. Many of those kids grow up and age out of the system and become homeless and don't have the, the support systems. They don't have the family, the love and the nurturing. To deny people the opportunity to help those kids is a disgrace. We got a random phone call from a number here in Tennessee and we're like, hmm, wonder who this is? and it happened to be um, a case manager from TII. We are a different kind of agency because we don't discriminate against people based on their sexual orientation. Hey, Sheldon. Yeah. Lunch, and you're gonna call grandma because she's gonna go to bed early tonight. Currently, we have our two sons that we just adopted. Uh, because I think she's going on a trip. And we have a daughter who is still in DCS custody. And we have another little guy. He's 12 and he's been with us for a couple weeks now. It's only a few cars. Our youngest one is Chase and he just turned seven. Our oldest son is Sheldon and he just turned nine in April. We were their 12th home within 758 days. They've been in 12 homes. Not even a year later, we were able to adopt them. I feel like coming from the LGBTQ community and experiencing what we've had to experience in our life has given us an advantage to being a parent and working with foster children. We know what having no one in the moment feels like. And so it helps us relate to these children and what they're going through currently. I've been there. I've, I've been rejected. I've felt in the moment that I've had nobody. There's been times when I have mo a mom and dad and I was adopted and I had a great family, but in the moment when you're being called a fag and you're being kicked out of somewhere because they don't like who you are, you feel like nobody. You feel rejected. You feel empty. And all you want is for one person to come and say, I love you or I care about you because that one person can change your life. I would love to be able to sit down with conservative politicians and say, look, I want you to meet this family. This family, who happens to be a gay couple, has managed to stabilize these kids. These kids love them and they're happy and now they are adopted by this family. It's about the kids. These kids need a loving home, and that's what they've got. Through the whole process, the best moment was 
when we witness both of them at individual times taking a sigh of relief that they never had to worry where they were going to lay their head at night.